Hey okay, students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over a uh, five examples on how to find the absolute value of complex numbers. Okay? Alright, so let's take a look at question number one. Um, the instruction is to uh, find, find the absolute value, the absolute value of the given complex numbers. numbers okay okay so when you're finding the absolute value of the complex numbers is as though you're employing the Pythagorean theorem so basically we know from the Pythagorean theorem that c square equals a square plus b square okay so c is actually what the absolute value is with the length of the uh, complex number from the origin all right so if c squared is a squared plus b squared, c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, okay? So, what is a and b in, a, in the context of a complex number? a plus bi, the real part is, not, is, is a, and the imaginary part, the coefficient of the imaginary of the i, um, is b, okay? So, if you take a look at imaginary, if you take a look at this problem, uh, 3 plus 6i, that's what we're looking for. So for number 1, we're trying to find the absolute value of 3 plus 6i. If you examine this complex number, the first number, the real part is a, and that is b. Okay? So the absolute value is simply going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay? So the square root a squared is going to be 3 squared plus b squared, which is 6 squared. Remember, you do not take the i along, okay? If you put in the i, it's going to switch the sign and you get the wrong problem, wrong answer, all right? So, to solve this, we're going to have the square root 3 squared is 9, 6 squared is 36. If you add the 2, you're going to have the square root of 40, uh, square root of 47, okay? All right, so, um, the question we'll ask yourself is, So actually, 9 plus 36 is 45, so it's going to be the square root of 45, all right? So let's see if we can reduce this, reduce the square root of 45, so we need to use our properties of radicals to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down, take out prime factors, I can take out 5, and I'm left with 9, take out a 3, and I'm left with 3. So since these two factors repeat, I can factor them out of the square root as one unit, that's three. So root 45 becomes three root five, okay? So the absolute value of three plus six i is three root five, and this is how far this point is uh, from the origin on the complex string. So your answer to number one is a, okay? All right, let's take a look at number two. I want to find the um, absolute value of this one also. So the absolute value of 8 minus 6i, so you're going to employ Pythagorean theorem is the square root of a squared plus b squared. Remember, a is the real part, and b is the imaginary part, just the coefficient. So we're going to have the square root of 8 squared plus negative 6 squared. Okay? That becomes the square root of 64 plus 36. When you add them together, you're going to have the square root of 100. The square root of 100 is 10. So your final answer for number 2 is 10. All right, let's move on to number 3. <clears throat> what is the absolute value of negative 2 plus 6i? Same process. You're going to have, use the Pythagorean theorem, square root of a squared plus b squared. a is the real part. B is the imaginary part, we're going to substitute that in. So we're going to have the square root of negative 2 squared plus 6 squared. Okay? So that becomes the square root of 4 plus 36, which becomes the square root of 40. Okay? Now let's try to see if we can reduce this. I'm going to take out prime factors. So I can take out uh, 2, 2 and 20. Take out another 2, 2 and 10. Take out another 2, 2 and 5. Alright, so these two twos repeat, so you can factor them out as a 2. 
And these two and five remain, so it basically becomes two root 10 as a reduced form of the absolute value of negative two plus six i. So the answer to number three is C. All right, let's move on to number four. The absolute value of negative three i. Well, this one's a little bit tricky. We do not have the real part. So since we do not have the real part, we can just use zero as a placeholder for the real part, zero minus three i. This is what we're looking for the absolute value of. And we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem again, which is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, okay? So a is your real part, and b is your imaginary part. So here we're going to have zero squared plus negative three squared. When you solve that, you're going to have zero plus nine. Zero plus nine equals the square root of nine. The square root of nine is three. So the answer to number four is A. Okay? All right, last but not the list, number five. Oh, wait, that's it. That's all we have to do. Okay, uh, so thanks so much for uh, watching this presentation. Please subscribe, and do feel free to share this video with your friends. You can also request uh, videos if you need math help. More videos can be found on mathwithserve.com. Thanks again, and have a wonderful day.